Good morning, everyone. Mm. All right, let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Today is June the 30th, 2024. Can you believe that? That's, that, that's the end of the first half of the year. <laughs> We'll also be celebrating, I believe, our 248th uh, nation's independence this week as well. So, so yes, on July the 4th. Well, welcome, everybody, uh, here in the sanctuary, out in the fellowship hall, uh, those on Facebook and, and those that will be watching later on YouTube. We welcome you to the service. Also, we would uh, like to just mention and give our appreciation to each and every one who is watching on Facebook and then sharing that on your page. When you click at the bottom to share, it's going out to all of your friends that we're not friends of. So anyway, if you would please share, that would be wonderful uh, to get the message out. We are having um, lunch after the service today. Kay and Jerry are going to be uh, going across the state to, to move. So we are having food afterwards. So please uh, feel free to stay. If you didn't bring anything, there's plenty, plenty of food, I can assure you. And we, we, we're just excited about that to eat together, but we're not excited about these guys leaving us. <laughs> we're going to miss them. <laughs> But they will be back. Uh, let's see. We, uh, for another announcement, we do have Wednesday night Bible study that will be at 630 this week. Let's do the opening scripture if we can. We're going to be in the book of Galatians, chapter 5. And if you would like to stand, we'd appreciate that. Thank you. Lisa, it's good to see you. I'm, I'm glad you're here. I know you weren't feeling well last week. And, and Sue and John, we missed y'all last week, too. <laughs> All right, we're going to read uh, the first verse, and then we'll go down to the 22nd through the 25th. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free, and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. Uh, yeah, let me, I think that is a big amen. That's a big amen. <laughs> All right. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against there is no law. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk yes. in the Spirit. Every day. Amen. Let us not be conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. You know, go back a couple of scriptures, a couple of verses. Maybe one more. Self-control, you know, That's you know, self-control, we, we, we don't see that today, <laughs> you know, um, and, and that's, a, that's a real big one because we see what we see today is me, 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 it, it's all, it's all about me. Um, and that's not self-control, self-control, you know, really dying to self. You know, you're giving all that you are to God, you, you know, you, that that's where all of these other things that we just previously read, <laughs> that's where they come from, because it's not human nature for us to be that way. Yes. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, that's a wonderful scripture uh, for us to eat this week, if we will, um, and, and, and to practice and to just kind of internally look at ourselves um, as we uh, 
pray and we commune with God that we kind of examine ourselves to make sure that we are in alignment. You know, we have the direct connection. <laughs> Amen. Um, I'm going to kind of move into the uh, prayer request now. Um, and there are several that have been on our list uh for the past couple weeks, I'm going to go ahead and mention, hopefully I don't forget anybody, but we do have a couple new ones that we have added. Um, we've got Essa Harris, Roger, Betty Miller, Wayne Newberry, Barbara Cook, Charlotte Ledford. Hello, Charlotte. I hope you're listening to us. Um, we, we prayed for her a day or two ago. Donnie did. Um, and then also uh, Gail's husband, Pete, um, Jen Rivets, we are uh, praying for him as well. Yes. And uh, so we are lifting all of these up. Do we have any others that we need to add that I, or someone I may have missed? Holly, you said Holly. Anybody else? Okay. We need to Continue put on there. Oh, okay. And Annette Gilly. Okay, anyone else? Okay. Let's let's uh, go to the Lord and let's lift these names up, you know, as well as you know, the other things that are of a concern to us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we step before your throne. We bow down at your throne. Lord, first we give you honor and we give you praise and we worship you because you are a mighty, mighty God. And nothing, absolutely nothing is too difficult for you. And we thank you, Lord. Father God, we just plead the blood of Jesus Christ over each and every one of these names, requests, and needs, Lord, for Essa, Roger, and Betty, Wayne, Junior, uh, Barbara Jean, Charlotte, Pete, Holly, Linda Kay, Annette, and Billy, Kay and Jerry in their move. Lord, Father God, we just lift them up to you, Lord. Collectively, with each one of us here, we have personal needs, Lord, and we just Lift them up to you as well, and we thank you for touching our bodies, comforting us, Lord, and just uh, just helping us in everything that we do and say we can't give you enough glory, honor, and praise for that. Lord, another critical prayer request that we all have is our upcoming election. Lord, we just it's in your hands. We can we can set and we can fret and we can worry about it, but but I'm, I'm taking that block, that boulder that has me concerned, and I, I'm going to go lay it down at the altar yes. because it's not my concern. It's yours now, Lord, and we thank you. We just praise you, Lord. Father God, we just praise you for the peace of Jerusalem. Lord, we just we pray daily for that, Lord, with many other things, Lord. But you know that it's important to us when we when we call it out by name, Lord, and we thank you. Lord, there's many, many family members that are in dire need of salvation. Lord, your return is so very near. We read the word, Lord. We, we see wars. We see rumors of wars. We, we see sons and killing fathers and mothers and just all all of these things that are happening that you said would come true and we see that oh lord help us lord help us help us to spread the gospel of the good news lord by our testimony lord we're not perfect we're human we make mistakes we we're, we're just human but, Father God, help us to spread the gospel of the good news. Help people to see Jesus in us. Lord, the self-control that we need is paramount now. 
because we need you to lead and to guide us. Take our will, Lord. Take my will. Give me your will, Lord, I pray. Thank you, Lord. We just praise you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, be upon this service today, Lord. I just feel your spirit all around us, Lord. We have come expecting, Lord, you to just fall down upon us. Lord, that you would just take every care and concern and let us just worship who you are, the great and mighty God. Oh, we just love you, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, because you are holy. So holy are you, God. We magnify your name, Lord God. You are worthy to be praised. We lift up our hands to you, outstretched. Oh, Lord, Father, that you would touch our fingers. Oh, Lord, that you would touch our mind, that you would touch our heart. Lord, that you would touch our body. Lord, every little thing that could be wrong. Lord, we're healed. By your stripes, we are healed. We claim our healing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we praise you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Such a sweet, sweet spirit that we feel, Lord, just flowing all around. I just feel it whirling. Oh, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. Hallelujah. You are the one true God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. Bless your name. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. All right. We are going to welcome Kay and Jerry up here to sing a song, and we're looking forward to it. And you know, we're like a bad penny. You never know when we're going to show up. <laughs> yeah, I'm a good penny. <laughs> but we will miss the church. We'll miss the people. This is our family. It has been since, oh, I don't even know how long we've been coming here. Quite a while. But if you're looking for a church, this is the one to come to. They will treat you good in here. <laughs> okay, I'm through talking. All alone and broken hearted Time to calm the raging battle in my mind In search of many answers that my troubled soul just could not seem to find I saw a flower blooming Where there was no rain or sunshine And I knew not that this flower Would change the rest of my life I felt the lily in my valley I felt the strength when I was one I found a place to leave my friend I felt the refuge from the storm A place where I could trade my dark sky to be rays of sunshine, I 
Searching for your answers, but your problems are getting worse all the time. Just reach your hand to Jesus, he'll take you in and break the ties of mine. He'll be your lady in your valley. Kay and Jerry as they move, but you know, they can come back and visit, and uh, we'll just have to let, let us know that you're headed this way, and we'll figure out where you're going to hang your hat, and uh, we'll, we'll work it out. God bless y'all. Thank you for all the ministry that you've sent out through Friends and Family Church. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Praise God. Amen. That's the truth. Praise you. I have a quick question. George and Miss Lisa be thinking, if there's any way you could stay and eat lunch with us, we'd like that and figure out a way to work it out, but you know best. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm not going to take a long time to say it, but I just want to share with you that Michelle and I just went through, uh, went, came, returned from a, a three-day conference uh, with the uh, International Pentecostal Holiness Church, which is uh, the church where we were ordained and licensed. And, um, it was one of the most powerful times I've had as a Christian. Praise honestly. the Lord. Uh, and um, the, whole, the, the, the theme of the entire conference was the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit's place in the church. One of the things that they talked about, our bishop got up and he said, you know, he said, we've got a whole generation growing up in church that's never seen miracles. They've never experienced the, the gifts of the Holy Spirit flowing. They've, they've never seen blind eyes open and, and 
deaf ears opened and, and even the dead raised. Just miracle after miracle. They, they, they've never experienced any of those kind of things. And he said, it's so sad. And he said, as a result, he said, the church is drying up. And, and whenever the, the world is thirsty, they come to a dry church and it's not going to, that's not going to feel, fulfill the need that they have. And he said, we just got to get back to that. But I want to tell you something it's so important. I shared it with Pastor and we, we, uh, we talked. As a matter of fact, the Pastor started getting all Holy Ghost over here. And, then we started, <laughs> and it was good. It was good. But, but um, one of the things that, that they pointed out was like, whenever we come into this place, we come in as individuals. And I bring my individual worship to the Lord. But as I express it and let it out and I really fully worship the Lord, then my worship, it takes and blends with all the other people that are worshiping in this congregation. And then it becomes a symphony that rises to heaven. And then the Lord just floods down, just a rush, a rushing mighty yes. wind comes down and fills you, this, Fill place this place because you, that we have done that. And I want to ask you something. I, I, I don't mean anything by it other than the fact that it, I believe that it does make a difference. But I'd like to ask, and, and you can go back to where you were, but everybody to come to the front during the worship. You can sit down right up here. You can stand up. And then you can go back to your seats you know, afterwards if you want to. But when, when we get in close, when we get in close and that worship starts rising up, you know, but it seems like we spread out all over the place and we're afraid for our stuff to get united together and that's one of the reasons that we we just kind of like you know and i'm not again i'm not i'm not chastising i'm just sharing my heart and sharing out of what i experienced we we were there and i oh my goodness it was just absolutely amazing honey go i want michelle to share this she shared it with the worship team but i want her to share this with with everybody that's here right now and those that are that are watching Okay, most of y'all know that I'm going through chemo treatment, you know, for cancer that has shown up in several places of my body. I'm doing well. And, um, of course, everyone's been playing, praying for me and with us and, and believing with us. And we've been believing for healing. But there's such an urgency through this that we need to see miracles. And I remember when I just said, Lord, let it start with me. Be glorified. Draw, draw other people through these miracles that they see. Yes, and then the last night, Friday night, it was our closing night, and then we were all. They called all of us up to the altars together, and and I remember when I got up to walk up, which this one leg was kind of weird acting, <laughs> and he's walking me. I got up around the altar, and I was standing there, and all of a sudden, this vibration just started up it's my right leg right <laughs> my right leg and then it was up my left leg and next thing I knew it was like I was shivering all over but I wasn't cold <laughs> and my hands and arms all started vibrating and my face and it just my whole body was vibrating I said Lord what's going on I just said to myself I said Holy Spirit this has to be you I believe you're healing me. And I just wrapped, I wrapped my arms around my abdomen. And I got back on Johnny and he felt me vibrating. He didn't know what was going on. And I just said, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for healing me. I'm standing on it saying I'm healed. And if y'all will stand with me on July 23rd, I go and have a PET scan. And I had said, oh, if they're shrunk down, I'll be thankful. But I want more than that. Lord, I know you could do more than that. Lord, I want every part of that cancer to be gone. And when the doctors see it, I can say, I'm not finishing that chemo treatment. I am healed. So if y'all will stand with me and believe. And I said, I'm just stepping up my faith. And I said, God, be glorified and draw people as they recognize you, your love, and your power. You know, God is no respecter of persons, right? That's right. Amen. So some of you are going through stuff. That's not God's will. 
God made a way. But for some reason, and, and I really, I honestly believe that it's because that we've distanced ourselves from the Holy Spirit. We've got head knowledge. We come in. We do all the different things. We go through having church. But the Holy Spirit is not allowed to move. Oh, it can move around here, but don't move here. I know I'm just as guilty as anybody would be of those same things. But I want to tell you, God is pouring out His Spirit in the last days. We're to see great and mighty things taking place. But it can't do it through an anemic church. And I want to say, even if you don't have healings needed, I think all of us know somebody that does Let's bring them here. Let them know that this is a house of healing. God yes. is here. Right. And let's bring them in. Let's pray for them. Let the miracle start right here at Friends and Family Church in Waimama. And then as you go out to the grocery store or anywhere else, continue to lay those hands and pray for healing. Let God be seen through us. Hallelujah. 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 I want, again, I, 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 I extend that invitation again for you to come to the front. Let's because gather I together. Believe. And you can sit. If sitting <laughs> is your thing, you can sit. If you have to get up and walk out that door, you get up and walk it. But don't use excuses. Mm -hmm. Let's come into that place where the unity and the worship is going yes, up. Thank I mean, you, Jesus. Break through. We've got to break through some things, folks. Jesus, thank we you, We've got to break Lord. through some things because, man, Hallelujah. We're, we're getting lazy. Woo! We're Thank getting lazy. You, Jesus. We got to break Jesus. through some stuff. I got to break through some stuff. We got to get into that place where it's like, yes, this is the body of Christ. This Woo. is the body of Christ. The Holy Spirit is going to descend on this place today and is going to begin to move in our hearts and our lives and take us to the next place. Hallelujah. I want that. Thank you, Jesus. I want that. He said, I want that. That's my desire. I said, well, if you died, you'd know where you would go. And he said, yeah, to hell. I said, why do you say that? He said, because God won't, you know, take, let me in because of all the bad things I did. I have a brother-in-law that broke all Ten Commandments, and I know he's up there right now. Because when God got a hold of him, he got a hold of him. But my son-in-law, he's in a um, rehab place, and he has a bad liver, and um, his body always collects a lot of ammonia in it. Well, anyway, he was in a coma for four or five days. I don't remember exactly. But we had a prayer cloth that some of us prayed over, and I sent it to our daughter. She called me the day before yesterday, and she said, You know, Kay, I think Greg's breaking through. Because he asked me if I would pray for him. And he said, can you get other people to pray for me? So I know God's working on him. Yes. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Okay. In Pennsylvania, I came from a church. You know the glory cloud that followed the Israelites? Well, God's glory was in that church. And one night... Well, it was early morning, but it was night to me because it was like 5 o'clock in the morning we went to the church. And I woke up with this great big huge lump on my neck. And Kim, who picked me up, I said, Kimmy, you're going to have to pray for me. And she says, all right. So we started worshiping. We, we always went in and cleansed the church because you never know what you bring into the church, right? Mm -hmm. So we were worshiping, and I fell down on the floor. And the glory of God hit me, and I could not move. We need that glory, because when I got up, it was gone completely. Hallelujah. And God gets the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, uh, Bishop Ray Willis, he was, uh, he's, he's our bishop, and he was sharing that 
He's, he's a fourth generation Pentecostal pastor. I mean, he, so there's four generations going back. His dad's in his 90s, and his dad will get up and preach every now and then at our conferences. But he said that there was one time that he was at the back of the church as a 10-year-old boy standing with his dad, who was the pastor of the church, and one of the elders, and we're watching. Everybody had come to the altars and just was on their faces before the Lord. He said they watched as the Shekinah glory, a blue cloud, came and settled over every person. And it said it just, it was just, and you could see, you could see it as it moved within each person. And he said, he said, you know, our, our, he said, our kids, we need to see, our adults need to see that and experience that as well as our children. So God is doing something really special. But today, let's, 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 let's for real, let's invite the Holy Spirit into this place and this place. Amen. Praise you. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Crown me with confidence. 
Spirit could be poured out upon your people. And we could fulfill all the prophecies, Lord, that's been told about your church. Lord, and we know that the end time church is to be that powerful church. Because we go forth, powered by the Holy Spirit in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord. We go in power, Lord. We've been endued, Lord, with power to fulfill all you've called us to do, Lord. You sent your power. Oh, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There is power in the name of Jesus. Yes, there is. There is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, there is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. There's power, there is power in the name of Jesus. Yes, there is. There is power there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, and all salvation sacrifice so free. For such a price, but our redemption, oh, and heaven's gates swing wide. Oh, all sufficient sacrifice, so freely given, such a price. Oh, in heaven's gate, sweet 
are more than Lord. You're always more than, and even more than that. You're more than, you're more than. You break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. You break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just thank you. Thank you that you set free. Thank Hallelujah. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Heart, every mind. I know there is peace within your presence. Yes, Lord. I speak Jesus. And I just want to speak the name of Jesus. To every dark addiction starts to break. Speak the holy name of Jesus. 
Your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every stronghold. Shine through the shadows. Burn like a fire. Well, I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Over every heart and every mind I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus 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 Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. If you're tired and thirsty there is freedom yes there is if you're tired and you're thirsty there is freedom freedom reigns in this place Showers of mercy and grace falling on every face. There is freedom. Jesus reigns in this place. Yes, he does. We shower. There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Your presence. 
For I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves, where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. Your presence, Lord. Come on, sing it to him this morning. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Your presence, Lord. For I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves when my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. Oh, your presence, Lord. Thank you. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long to be overcome by your presence. Lord, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. Your presence. experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your Just feeling the 
almighty presence of the glory of God is in this place. It is here right now. Hallelujah. Such an amazing experience just to feel the glory of God yes. upon you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In your presence is where I want to be. In your presence is a strength for me in your presence the healing begins it's in your presence is where I want to be in your presence is where I want to be, and in your presence is a strength for me, in your today, Lord. Sweet, this 
in praise without a doubt we'll know we have been revived when we shall leave this place revive us Lord revive us Lord the same spirit that raised you from the dead revive us Lord the same spirit that brought you out of the grave, taken you from death unto life eternal that you've given to us. Hallelujah. Praise your precious name. Holy Ghost, we accept your, your message this morning. We accept your prayers this morning. We accept your ministry this morning. Holy Ghost, move upon your people, on your church. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Lord, I see the differences in people and their preferences. Seeing more of the contemporary, seeing more of the hymnal. Lord, let us sing more of the Spirit. Yes. Let us sing more of your Spirit. Yes. And Lord, let us not be divided, but join your church for you. You work, you inhabit the praises of your people. Lord, pour out your, your blessing. Pour out your heart through every song that's sung. Hallelujah. Blessed assurance, what a friend I have. Oh, peace, peace, wonderful peace. God, you're the God of all lyrics, of all songs. Let us sing the songs as David did, that brings peace to the troubled, a message to those that are in need, encouragement to those who are struggling, remove all depression, lift up, Lord, every heart, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name.
Come and have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter. I am the clay. Lord, we never have. Lord, I know the liberty and the words that will be shared this week, the freedom, the words that will be shared this week from tyranny and mankind is constantly, Lord, in every country to some measure, some degree, wanting freedom, wanting to see the liberty and the setting free, Lord, of whatever the oppression. Oh, Lord, let us be set free in you. Yeah. For no matter what state we're in, as Paul said in the New Testament, that we can be content in such a state. For we are free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're free. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Not just in 1776, but since the salvation was made available to man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At the age of 33 in Jesus Christ, freedom came. Hallelujah. 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 Eternal freedom. Let us find that, Lord. So no matter what anyone or the government does, that we're never bound by it, but we're free. We're free, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. We just sang that song. Do you know about that freedom? Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, please come take a mic. We've invited Jesus into our hearts today. We've been worshiping him and asking to be in his presence. However, however, our hearts have many doors. And when Jesus goes to open those doors, we go, oh, no, Lord, you can't go in there. There's clutter in there. But who but Jesus can clean up that clutter? Open the doors to your heart. There's many doors and many clutters, but give them all to him. Thank you. Praise his name. It is, I, I believe that, that, that God is calling not only us here, but the, the body of Christ as a whole to step into a new level, another level, and move forward. Yes, yes. So we're, let's, let's continue to move in that. This afternoon, tomorrow, every day, let's go and be empowered by the Holy Spirit. O open up the day with like, Holy Spirit, guide me today. Thank you, Lord. Guide Thank me you, Lord. today. Thank Before you, your Lord. feet hit the floor, just Holy Spirit, guide me today. Guide me Thank today. Thank you, Lord. Just a Thank quick, you, quick sh thing to share. The bishop said he was just recently, he, he went to get s some gas at, at a, a convenience store, and he said it was a busy one and everything. And he was, he was pumping the gas. He said this fellow walked up to him. He said, sir, he said, I'm, my mom is sick. He said, I've been driving to, to go to see her. He said, I pulled in here to get some gas, reached in. He said, and I went out and left my wallet at home. And, and, and he said, and that's like 50 miles back. And he said, but I need gas to get to, to where my mom's going. He said, I'm not asking you for money. I just need gas. He said, so if you could just give me $15 and I'll put that in the car and that should be enough. And so Bishop just looked at me and he said, well, I tell you what. He said, first of all, he said, I want you to realize something. 
He said, I'm an angel of the Lord sent to you today. He said, because you look all around you. And there's all these other people you could have gone to. But you came to me. Thank you, Lord. And he said, now, I am not going to give you $15 for, uh, for you to get gas. He said, I'm going to fill your tank up. And he said, but then he said, now I want to share with you the one that can fill your life up Amen. and change your life. Amen. And he stood <clears throat> and, and he, he, he said he, he was he was sitting. He said, at first, he was just talking to the guy all about you know, money kind of thing. Having the guys. He said, but then the Holy Spirit whispered to him and said, this is your opportunity. And he said, that's when it. So if, if we can just think if, if, if our whole our whole day is set up like that, to where we say, OK, Lord, I'm planning to go here. But if you want me to turn, just turn me. Just just move me in that direction. Draw me to wherever it is yes, that I can yes, be a, yes. what you want me to be and what you, you have called me to be. So I, I think that. Just, I challenge each one of us, including myself, to every day, when your eyes open up, to say, Holy Spirit, guide me today. Yes. And help me to hear your voice. Yes, Lord. Help Grant me to be it. in tune with you. Grant it, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Grant That's it, where Lord. I want to be. Amen. Grant it, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. In your presence. Yes. In your presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know it's moving in time, and I had, you know, a lot to share with you today, but I'm not going into all of that. I just feel led a different direction. I could tell you about the Declaration of Independence and all the things that go along with it, but in the stirring of the Spirit and the move of God's Spirit today, and I know that we've got lunch afterwards, so you won't have a long line to wait in, so we can just got to go a little bit, right? I want you to answer a question for me to the Lord. You don't say it to me. You don't say it to your husband, wife next to you. Do you want the full blessing of God? Just That's for you to answer in your heart. Those at home... Do you want the full blessing of God? Or are you playing a game? Uh-oh, he added that. <laughs> We're in the last days. There's not... To, my grandson asked me, he says, he says, Grandpa, I want to borrow your phone. It's been many, quite a few years ago. He's much younger. He said, I want to play games. And I said, my phone don't have games. <laughs> I said, mine's a working phone. It takes care of the things that I need to do. And I have found out over time when I loan something like that, when I get it back, it doesn't work like it used to because something's been formatted or changed different. And so I'm not going there, and I'm not going to deal with that. In our lives, are we playing a game, or do you want the full blessing of the Lord? It's going to be a real short sermon. Do you really want it? Stand with me. Close your eyes. Raise your hands. If it hurts, raise them waist high. Down at your belt. Raise your hands as best you possibly can and not be fatigued. You may be there for a little bit. I'm going to close, ask you to close your eyes. Those at home, if you can stand at home, please do. You say, well, the wife might walk by or something, or the husband. Forget about all of that. It's the last day. Games are over. Yeah. Forget about all of that. That's right. That's right. Lift your head in your heart. See heaven. See a majestic heavenly Father, creator of the universe, sitting in that holy place, with the Son of God seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you, and know that nothing's important. There are no games. It's just you and Him this morning. Raise your hands best you can. This old song, Fill My Cup, Lord. Don't sing it to me or your neighbor. You say, well, I can't sing. Just repeat the words. Repeat the words. And just ask the Lord, say, fill my cup. You say, well, I don't know the words to it. Just say, fill my cup. 
fill my cup. Jesus, fill my cup. If you don't know the words, I'm making it very simple. We're going to sing that. We're going to ask God to do exactly that. All pretenses put aside. All that you wanted to show somebody or say to somebody today, forget all of that and focus on the Son of God. Let all stress just melt away and that there's no one but you and the Heavenly Father and the Son making intercession for you. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. And the bread of heaven will fill me till I want no more. Yes, Lord, fill my cup. Fill it up and make me whole. Sing again. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. And the bread of heaven will fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, Lord, fill it up. And make me whole once again softly to the Lord. Fill my cup, Lord. I love you, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. And the bread of heaven will fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, Lord, fill it up and make me whole. Keep your hands raised. Father, today we come before you with honest hearts. Those at home, those that are here. Those that are listening and will listen in the future, Lord. We know it's a, a holiday weekend coming up next weekend. Many people will be traveling and all the things that will be happening. We pray, Lord, a blessing on all of those that, that are listening to you, even in the middle of a holiday, even in the middle of a distraction, Lord, of, of who you are and, and the true independence of your people, Lord, needs to follow through and be uh, put in place in every one of our hearts to the fullest, Lord, to fill that cup, run it over that we may be able to go, as Johnny was saying, and bless someone else that I'm not here for my own reason. I'm not at the station. I'm not at this doctor doctor's office. I'm not at this hospital for myself. I am here to minister the gospel of God to someone, and I never would have came here except for the circumstances. And I know that I know that I know that my God that I serve is about to do something special in the opportunity of life. Hallelujah. And set my people free. Hallelujah. He says to you today that He loves you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He is the God of, of Abraham and Isaac and Joseph and he's the God of you today he will raise you up when you think you're falling he will catch you and there'll be so much of his authority and the power around that you cannot stumble your feet will become like hinds feet strong and secure and you will be able to walk forth in every 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 place and arena in the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost but that God is sending hallelujah a refreshing in this last day Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. 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 There is none holy as the Lord. There is none holy as the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we thank you today that your church would no longer be deceived. Lord, in the things of evolution and the redefining of marriages, and the pretending and the insanity of that that's going on. We bind it and rebuke it in Jesus' name. 
in every situation, in every arena that these things are rising up, we bring authority of the power of God upon them. For greater is He that's in us than any power of the darkness of this world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We claim victory for our children. We claim victory in the schools. We pray, Lord, that you would give us wisdom in the elections that are coming up. That we would vote for the right ones, Lord. Not a party, but a person that loves you and hears your voice and walks in the discernment and the power of the authority of the Holy Ghost today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord, to find those people. Help us, Lord, to, to vote them in. Help us, Lord, to be a part of the Holy Spirit moving even in this last day. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, I, I see it on the Internet. Join me, it says, and let's pray all of those evil people out of, out of Washington. And I say, no, Lord, save them and keep them right where they're at. Hallelujah. That the power and the authority of God would go through the halls of Washington. And that all evil ways, all evil doing would be put aside. And these things of the agenda of the personal individual would disappear. And they would be the oracle of God right where they're placed. Hallelujah. 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 Praise your name, Lord. Praise your name, Lord. I like your sermon better than mine, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Fill our cups, Lord. Fill our cups, Lord. Fill our cups, Lord. Fill our cups, Lord. Our cups, Lord. As I say that, I, I see some of the, at the family reunion we just went to, and I went out, and, and a bunch of the boys, they were, you know, like 10 to maybe 13 or something like that. And there were several of them there at the table. And I asked them, I says, what in the world are y'all doing? He said, we're trying to put more in this glass than it can hold without running it over. <laughs> and they were looking across the top, and they said, look, it's actually above the glass. I pray today that this power of God is just like that in you. Hallelujah. That you're not just full, but you're more than. Hallelujah. That glass can only hold so much, but through the power of God, you're going to be more than. Yes. Yes. Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name. Oh, fill our cups. Fill them up, Lord, and make us whole in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I don't know if y'all could hear the message today that was being said but that every person would be healed that was mentioned today. And I, I extend that today, not just here, but every church, every person that's prayed for today, that the world would see the signs and wonders that are not following most churches. Hallelujah. That we would be awakened to what God is doing. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. When we centered our thoughts upon us, forgive us, Lord. When we did what we wanted to, forgive us, Lord. When we spent more on cruises than we did in, in ministries. Forgive us, Lord. As we walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, Lord, but listen and ask you for your wisdom. Forgive us, Lord. For thine is the kingdom. Thine is the power. Forgive us, Lord, for not remembering. Forgive us, Lord, for not understanding when we had the opportunity to study and show ourselves approved. Forgive us, Lord. Let our eyes be centered upon you and not on that part of the world that, that may attract every individual differently. Forgive us, Lord, of not having the patience of, of God within us today. Forgive us, Lord. For not walking as we open the service with today in the fruits of the Spirit and having self-control, or having love, joy, and peace, and long-suffering, and meekness, and temperance, and faith, 
as we have wearied, Lord, within ourselves and said, I just can't go, I can't do because of, and then explain the thing. Lord, forgive us for entertaining the thing and not stepping out in the power and the faith and the authority of God and walking in that Spirit all before you humbly in the power and the authority of who you are. Lord, when I say I can't, I can't. But in you, I can. <laughs> Hallelujah. In you, I can. For I can do all things through the God that I serve and the Son that made an example of sin and brought all of it into the authority of God that there is no need for another sacrifice for the perfect sacrifice has been given. Forgive us, Lord. As a nation, Lord, Forgive us that we spend more time with Jim than we do with Jesus. Going to the gym and working out and, and building out the outward person. And we don't have time for Jesus. Forgive us, Lord, of all unrighteousness. Forgive us for walking the paths of unrighteousness. Your kingdom, your presence, your love, your mercy, your grace, your compassion. Lord, should the world see any of us today? Should our children look at us and somehow have a shame for the gospel? Lord, I pray today that any child that would look at their parents and say they're caught up in religion. I pray, Lord, that everyone that may think in that fashion, that they would know we don't want anyone like us. We want them like you. Let our example always be not follow me, but to be like you. To follow you. Every moment of every day in every situation. And we don't want our children or our neighbors or our other fellow church. We don't want them like us. We want them like you, Lord. Yes. Let them know that there is no color. There is no language. There's no creed that's, that's outside of who you are. Lord, there's only, only the hearts that you've washed white as snow and then those that are in the evil of the world and the darkness of thereof. So Lord, give us a pure heart. Give us a pure heart, Lord. Give us a pure heart, your heart, and that no one would say, I want to be like him or her. They say, I want to be like Jesus. I want to be like Jesus. I want to be just like you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Lord, forgive us. Lord, cleanse us. Purify our thoughts and our hearts completely. When we leave this place, let every priority be in order for every one of us. Every priority come into the subjection of the power of the Holy Spirit today and be directed by the power of God and not by the lust or the cravings or the desires of the flesh, but fully walking in the Spirit of God, in the counsel of of the most powerful and most wise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to close the service today, and I'm going to come right down front, and I'm going to kneel. If you feel a need to 
find an altar. This is our altar. This church has an altar. We don't have one like the old churches that was separate and individual. We have a, a kneeling place here. I'm going to kneel right here. You find a place. If you don't feel the need to, then you can go home or you can get ready to eat. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Shatala Moroko Sondari Atai. Enada Boko Sondari Atai. We would recognize the day in which we're living, Lord, and, and be aware of the priorities of your spirit. Help us, Lord, to find your heart about every question. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Lord, you said in the book of Romans that we have need of you, for we have fallen and come, and come short of the glory of God. Let us find the full glory of God, I pray. Cleanse us, Lord. Make us into your likeness and image. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Great is your faithfulness, Lord. Great is your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord. Power and authority, Lord, of you is what we desire for all of our friends and loved ones and our own families. More of you, Lord. More of you. Not our wisdom and our, our thoughts or our creativity, but the power of the Holy Spirit working in, in every person as we, they, we all follow you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord, that we would build up our faith, Lord. Build up our faith, Lord. Let us not be a people of little faith, but let us be a, a per people built up in our most holy faith in Christ Jesus. Build up our faith, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. More than, Lord, always that you give. Thank you for more than. Thank you, Lord, for more than. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you, precious Lord. Your name is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. All power, all glory, all honor, Lord, belongs to you. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of Jesus. You're our rock, Lord. Thank you that you are the rock of our salvation. We will fear no one, Lord, or nothing because you are there with us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, never leaving, never forsaking us, always encouraging and, and providing, being Jehovah Jireh in every situation. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, precious Jesus. Thank you, precious Jesus. Thank you, precious Jesus. Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, no, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you all for joining me this morning. I pray that when you leave this place today that you're nothing like you were when you came in. I pray that you're more like Christ when you leave this place today than you've ever been in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus, your son, that you gave him to this world. And whosoever would believe on him would never perish but have everlasting life. And there may be some at home today that don't know of this relationship, and we pray today that they find you. Let them be knocking on the door. Let them be seeking, Lord, hungering for that feeling of your righteousness and not what we would coach them into or cheerlead someone into, but let us, let us lead them, Lord, by the power and the Spirit of God into that conviction that we hardly ever hear much of anymore, that by your Spirit they would be changed into your likeness and image with a hunger and a thirst to do the things of God. In this community, Lord, I pray that you let us be an element in every life as we go about our daily business at the grocery store, at the post office, in traffic, wherever we may be, that we would shine the light of Jesus. We shine that gospel light. Hallelujah. Let it shine from shore to shore. I, I like that old song. I haven't thought about it in a while. But Lord, we begin to close this service. We ask today that you would bless the food that's been prepared. I thank you for Kay and Jerry, and I ask that you minister continually through them, just as they did this morning. Wherever they go, they haven't gone out of ministry. They've gone to the next step of ministry. And we join them today, Lord, to send them out as the authority and the power in that location that someone needs the compassion, the love, and that discernment that they have. And that you would work through them, Lord, and, and they would just continue to be an extension of you, not so much an extension of us, but, Lord, always an extension of you, jointly framed together, jointly put together as part of the body of Christ, as part of the family of God. We thank you today for them, and we ask that you bless them special as we have this lunch for them. We ask you to bless the food and all that would stay and partake of it today. We ask your blessing upon it, that it would nourish the, each body that would partake of it, and that we might bring glory as we fellowship and visit after this service is over, and the afterglow of this today would continue, and we would share the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All my life you have been faithful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness that will continue through Kay and Jerry and everyone that's a part of Friends and Family Church. We ask your blessings on them. Center us upon your ministry, your calling, and that we would always be faithful to that. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you this morning for being.